French toast for so long. What is on the menu? Let's tell the people. So here's what we've got. We've got a frittata, uh, bacon, spinach, goat cheese, uh, brioche French toast, custardy, delicious, very rich, and we're going to have uh, steamed gingerbread pudding for dessert. Okay, before we get started, excuse me for one second, we've picked out someone in our audience, Carly from Pittsburgh. What is your guess? Now remember, he's got to do it within $40. You've got to come within $0.25. Cents. So what's your guess? $39.52. $39.52. Let's make a mental note of that. All right, Carl, you stay right back there. We'll check back in with you. All right, what do we got? So I'm going to have you take over here. Okay. Uh, a little whisking? Yeah, start with the whisking of the eggs. I'm going to add all the ingredients. We've got some bacon here. Yep. A little bit of scallion. Some raw spinach. Lonnie Quinn is looking at me right now saying, God, he's good in the kitchen. All right. That's <laughs> yeah, what he's doing. No, that's what I was thinking. God, knows what he's doing. I'm going to add a little bit of goat cheese there. A little bit of salt. Finish with a little extra virgin olive oil, okay? How has uh, brunch been received at the restaurant? Pretty I know well, it was great for well. the other meals, yeah. but now that the word Absolutely. is out. Uh, we've only been open for a couple of weeks now, so this is kind of a uh, kickoff, hopefully. Yeah. I'm going to have you empty the contents of that right into this pie tin here. Whisked enough? Yep. Drop it all in. We're going to put it into an oven at about 325 or so. Exactly. Pop it into the oven. 325 or so. And you know when it's finished when, when you dip a knife into it and it comes out clean. If it's yep. still a little bit of egginess on the knife, that's how you know it's It was not something like finished. this. It's, it's basically a blank canvas. You can use whatever you like. Anything. I mean, let the season dictate. What I would like to use right now, you know, we can do anything from forest mushrooms to, uh, you know, peppers, eggplant. Anything yeah. you have in the house, it actually works very well. How long did you have it in for? I had it for about 20 minutes just or so. 20 minutes. As I said, you know, as soon as it comes out clean, you're all set. I'm going to have you... Just uh, put the knife yeah, in Yeah, I'm going to garnish with a little bit of extra virgin olive oil Good. there. And next, I'm going to start on the uh, the brioche, brioche, excuse me, French toast. I'm going to start with some eggs. I'm, I'm just going to make this statement right now. Brunch will definitely stay open at Dunkin'. Absolutely, I hope great. so. Oh, you so. really take the goat cheese. Right, it's one of my favorite meals of the day as well. And again, I'm going to have you uh, whisk. Whisk. We've got. Eggs and egg yolks. And this brioche French toast is slightly different because it's very, very custardy. So what you're going to have on the outside is crispy texture. On the inside, very, very creamy and rich. Okay. <laughs> and for the winter, that's what you want. All right? Don't get any on your clothes now. It's all right. Don't worry about me. All right. So we've got eggs, egg yolks, milk, heavy cream, lots of sugar. Oh. <laughs> that was all sugar? That was all sugar. Holy Toledo. <laughs> And some vanilla bean here. And some vanilla bean. Right? And at the restaurant, what we do is we go ahead and we soak this overnight. So we let the, the brioche act as a sponge, yep. soak up this custard. I love go ahead. the size of the bread. It's practically a loaf. Exactly. And, it, and what it does is it actually uh, sort of puffs up by two times the size. And for a bread this size, how much soaking are we talking about here? 24 would, hours. 24 we do 24 hours, hours wow. at the restaurant. At home, you know, maybe you want to do 12 or something like that. Yeah. The longer it sits, the longer the custard's going to be able to uh, reach the center. Wow. Right? Okay. So I'm going to, I, I prepared one ahead of time because it yep. takes a few minutes. And you know it's done when it starts to souffle a little bit because there is a lot of eggs in there. Yeah. All right. And I've got a little uh, salad of figs and mints, so I'm going to go ahead and pop right on top of the French toast there. You better get ready for this one. You're going to need a cup of coffee yeah, there down here. This is a big, big do it's right here. We may have to bring the forklift in for this. Um, maybe a little bit more. Maple syrup. It's going to take a big mouth to get this piece of French toast down, but you know what? Something tells me. Give it a try. My producer's telling me in my ear right now, yeah, you're the guy for it. Yeah. <laughs> and what's our third course? What you the last course we have is uh, dessert, okay? Very, very simple. You probably want my ha my tab these ingredients in their cupboard as we speak, okay? We've got graham crackers. You don't need to ask uh, us. Graham and two hours. Let's just bite once, Chris. Let's just give it a shot. Okay, so we've right. got eggs, graham crackers. You know you know Thank you. Thank you. Right steamed uh, gingerbread pudding topped with a little bit of whipped cream. I know. I want to try one of these. Pass that one down. You know what? Right. Three, 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 three. There. All right. Pass it down. It was something like uh, caramel gingerbread pudding. Perfect day nice. for it, too. Yeah. Absolutely. Good fall food. As far as yeah. being, we're just, it's just a mixture of the ingredients. Yeah. Mixture of the ingredients. You cream the butter, add the eggs, add the caramel, sift in the dry ingredients. In the oven, it goes into a, a water bath, so it sort of steams uh, to finish, and it has a nice creamy texture, so the fat stays uh, late. And again, how long are we talking about? 20 minutes. 20 minutes, yeah. Huh? Seems very easy. Seems very, very, I mean, it, it is fantastic. Is that not the best That's French toast I've ever had? I know, this is my daughter, right? Oh, yeah. 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 Y
budget right now. You have forty dollars. Let's see exactly what the ingredients came to. You've got, of course, for the first course, you've got bacon, goat cheese, scallions, spinach, <laughs> the heavy cream, the whole milk, the eggs, the vanilla bean, the brioche, the brioche, the maple syrup, the pig. What's that? Pig? Excuse me, pigs. Yeah, just what we had out here. Pigs. Yeah, the lime, the mint leaves. The monitor's a little far away. Corn syrup, heavy cream, graham crackers, and ginger. And let's see what our grand total is. 39.61. Wait a second. Put in our girl Carly. She predicted what? Within 25 cents, folks, we have a winner. There you go. Can I recommend the French toast? Oh. It is fantastic, seriously. Way to go, Carly. From Pittsburgh, she wins a $100 gift certificate. When Carly calls and asks for a reservation, let's kind of let her know. We're, happy. We're really focused on our food. John, John, is the winner this morning. John, thanks so much. That was really great. For if you want to check out this recipe, and we highly recommend it, we highly recommend all our recipes. We've got some great chefs that are here. Our chefs on shoestrings. Just log on to our website at earlyshow.cbsnews.com. All